It was terribly hot that summer Mr. Robertson left town. For a long while, the river seemed dead. Strangers driving by would roll up their windows and wonder how anyone could put up with the river sulfurous stench. But the people who lived in Shirley Falls were used to that. What they minded more was how the sky was never blue. How it looked instead like a gauze bandage had been wrapped over the town, squeezing out whatever gave things their color. Further up the river, crops weren't right. Pole beans shriveled on the vine. There were other things, too. No explaining it. Unless the world's coming to an end. And I don't think it's a good idea sending men into space. They have no business really walking around up there in the moon. Yeah, well, all I know is my feet are killing me. I wouldn't go slipping your shoes off. It'd be a hundred years before you get them on again. Ugh. Time to give old Dot a call. See how our stitches are doing. No, there was no escaping the heat. And for Amy and me, there was no escaping each other. Well, never mind. Don't hurry back. No one misses you a bit. I'm not kidding, Dot. It's much nicer to look at Amy Goodrow's sweet face than to hear you go on about your cramps. What? She said that? There was a fountain You're in kidding. the middle of the cake. Charlene had she a She is the most selfish I said woman. At the time, Charlene, are you sure? What the hell it was as if a black line, a pencil-thin <laughs> black line, connected us. Amy could leave the room. It was always there. You guys have more cousins. Never made much sense to me spending all that money on a wedding. My insides are going bonkers. Makes sense to me. What about you, Isabel? You have a big wedding? Small, very small. Isabel? <clears throat> can I see you for a few minutes, please? Yes. Just one second. I seem to have misplaced my... Uh, silly me. This is silly. It was like a car accident. How afterward you kept saying to yourself, if only the truck had already gone through the intersection by the time I got there. If only Mr. Robertson had passed through town before Amy got to high school. But you get into your car, your mind on other things, and all the while the truck is rumbling off the exit ramp, pulling into town. And you are pulling into town. And then it's over, and your life will never be the same. Please, God, give me strength. I think if you could just shovel the snow off the roof. My daughter will be home about 3.30, quarter to four. That would be fine. Thank you very much. Mr. Crane.